Hiya, it's a pleasure and an honour that I have today to be able to bring to you an interview that I did with Tarek Dervish. Tarek is a brilliant teacher. He not only teaches yoga, he trains yoga teachers with the British Wheel of Yoga School and he then further educates yoga teachers in Ayurvedic yoga therapy. He's a brilliant therapist, he's an amazing teacher and trainer and I know that you're going to be as wowed as I was by the wealth and depth of his knowledge during the interview that took place earlier today. So enjoy the interview and get in touch and let us know what you think if you've got any questions or anything you'd like to add to what we discussed during the interview. We'd really love to hear from you. Enjoy Tarek. Hello. <laughs> so Tarek, what do you think is the basis of um, illness? What are the causes of illness as you see it? Well, uh, it depends on what, uh, where you start, where your starting point is. Um, the way I like to work is to really go to the cause of where things are coming from, where illness is coming from. And uh, from the model that I use is based on a yogic model, and it's the model of the uh, five sheets, mm -hmm. where you look at the body like an onion, yeah. and the, the, the grossest sheath is the physical body. And then you have a slightly more subtle sheath, which is the pranic body or the energy body. And then the third uh, body is the sheath of thought, where all beliefs and thoughts uh, emerge from. And so uh, often the causes of disease are, can come from a very physical place, come from a, from a very superficial place. And then uh, the uh, solutions can also be very, very simple and straightforward. However, um, if you uh, approach a problem purely from a physical perspective, uh, a good example would be, for example, to give somebody bicarbonate of soda for a slightly acidic stomach and then it's gone and then you never have it again, it never re-emerges and that's finished, then, that's, then that problem is solved. However, very often, um, causes re-emerge. Uh, conditions re-emerge. So uh, one needs to find out whether it is to do with some physical habit that is taking place and if the physical habit is creating a condition then why does that physical habit, why does that person feel like they need to keep doing what they do that creates the, the problem? Mm -hmm. And so uh, is it to do with something that is being managed in the emotional body, in the, in the energy body. Uh, and that could be uh, a trauma that's being held, uh, that is being managed unconsciously, uh, where you are constantly, for example, eating a certain kind of a food or um, enacting a certain kind of behavior in order to manage uh, some kind of trauma in the emotional body, in the energy body. Um, and uh, sometimes it can go even deeper still, where it comes from a, a, a belief about something, a, a, a stream of thought is creating a certain feeling, which is creating a certain behaviour. So how deep does it go? And that is really the first thing I try to, to, to do, is try to establish. But it's quite difficult because it's, uh, it's, you have to build a relationship with the client. Mm. To, in order to, to understand the nature or the cause of that particular person's uh, condition. 